When it comes to analyzing stocks, one of the most important metrics that you can look out for is the net income growth. This number allows you to find how fast the profits of a particular company are growing and therefore use this information so that you can make a more informed decision as to whether or not you want to invest in a particular stock. In this video, I'm going to share with you the two different ways that you can use to calculate net income growth and most importantly, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step examples so that you can see the calculation in real time and if you stay until the end of the video i'm going to share with you how it is that you can get the net income growth automatically calculated for you right on your excel or google sheet spreadsheet okay so to start off we're going to talk about what the net income growth means as well as the two different formulas to calculate this number and then we're going to get into some practical examples on how to apply the formulas to calculate the net income growth for any particular company that you like okay so the net income growth also known as the profit growth is the growth rate in terms of the percentage change from a particular period of that particular company's net income versus the previous or another period that you select so for example let's say that you want to calculate the net income growth for apple from 2022 until let's say 2018 that's the reference so you would calculate the percentage change between those two numbers to calculate the net income growth now there's two different formulas that you can use to calculate the net income growth for the example that I just mentioned uh, using Apple uh, we used the simple growth rate formula and the formula works like this you basically take the final value which in this case would be the net income for 2022 and is the previous value that you want to analyze so we could also do 2021 but assuming that we want to do 2018 we would take the net income uh, for apple in 2018 so we would subtract the difference between these numbers and then what we would do is divide that by the initial value so the net income for 2018 this will give you the percentage change from 2022 to 2018 of the net income growth now there's another formula which is a little bit more nuanced and a little bit more complicated and this is the compound annual growth rate formula this formula takes into account any compounding that takes place from one period to another so once we calculate this for apple in terms of the net income from 2022 to 2018 we would see roughly what is the compounded rate at which the company's net income is growing at so those are the two formulas that you can use to calculate net income growth typically the one that you see used more often is the growth rate formula however if you're looking at different periods so for example 2022 to 2018 it might be a good idea to use the compounded annual growth rate just because it allows you to see the growth rate for many different uh, time periods as opposed to this formula which is more typically used for one period difference so for example from 2022 to 21 so that would be most typically when you see this formulas but with that being said what i want to do is show you step by step example of this calculation so that way you could see these formulas for yourself so the first thing that i'm going to do is get the company's financial statements for the company's financial statements there's many different ways in which you can get them what i recommend is that you get them on excel or google sheets so that way you can more easily calculate the net income growth using spreadsheet formulas for this i recommend using the Y sheets add-on which automatically provides you with that data so let me just show you that we're going to do this for microsoft so here's microsoft we're going to select like annual data click on get data and automatically you are going to get the financial growth metrics uh, the key metrics cash flow statement balance sheet income statement uh, so this is going to be very handy for performing any type of analysis and calculations you like we have many videos on our channel in terms of how to use Y sheets in this video we will just keep the discussion focused on the net income growth so as you can see um, we have the income statement for my 
Microsoft. I'm just going to expand this so that way you can see the numbers better. The one number that we most care about in this case is the net income, which is found right here. And this is essentially the profit that the company made. Now, if we're going to calculate the net income growth, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate this number for the difference between 2022 and 2021 for the company. And first, we're going to use the simple formula. So just the percentage change formula. So if you remember uh, from before, what you do is you take the latest value, subtract by the initial value, and then make sure to have this in brackets. And the reason why is so that this calculation is performed first. And then what you're going to do is divide this by the initial value, which is the previous value. So we're going to do this formula is extremely critical in finance. So I highly recommend that you memorize it. And then this is going to give you the net income growth for this particular year. So from 2021 to 2022, you can also change it as a percentage uh, using the formatting right here on Excel or Google Sheets. And then you can add some more decimals. And as you can see, this would be our number right here. I'm just going to get rid of this so that way we can more easily visualize the values. But you can see this would be the answer that you're looking for. And the great thing about this is that you can perform this calculation for as many years as you want. So as you can see, we have data in this case going back to 2004. So there's a lot of data. But the cool thing is that with Excel, you can simply drag the formula across. And you will see that the calculation is performed automatically for you. So in this case, it's being done on these two values right here. And now we can see year over year uh, what the change in the net income growth is. So you can use this information for valuations and whatnot. So this is the percentage change uh, net income growth. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the CAG or the compounded annual growth rate, and we're going to do it for 2022 and 2018. So in this case, the way that you perform this calculation is that you apply the formula that I shared with you before. So you take the latest value, which in this case is right here, 2022 divided by the initial value. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this to the power of one divided by the number of periods. So the number of periods in this case is the number of years. And sorry, I think uh, this is 2017. So we're just going to move it to 2018. And in this case, the number of periods is one, two, three, four. So four years difference. And after that, you're just going to subtract minus one. And right here, you are going to get the compounded annual growth rate for the net income. So as you can see, this is the number right here. Now, what this means is that roughly on average, the net income grew at a rate of 44.74% per year. So starting from here, if you apply this growth rate, you will roughly get the number that you can see right here. So if I perform this calculation, you see that I'm taking the net income from 2018 and I'm basically adding the rate. So I'm getting this number plus the number that uh, you get by the rate, which is 44.74. And I apply this for all these different years. So in this case, now I'm getting this number and applying the 44.74% rate. And you see that if I keep doing this, I will roughly get, or in this case is exactly the same number as the net income that we have here. So this is the average rate at which the net income grew. The last thing that I want to share with you is that if you have a list of stocks, like for example, in this case, we have a list of semiconductor stocks and there's a list of metrics that you want to get rather than getting all the information at once. Like you can see using Y sheets, we have dedicated spreadsheet formulas that allow you to only get the data that you are most interested in. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to change the revenue growth for the net income growth. So as you can see right here in the financial growth tab, there's the revenue growth. And then we also have the net income growth. So I'm just going to copy this and now I'm going to change it and put it right here. And as you can see, using the spreadsheet formulas, 
uh, which I'm going to expand on right now, you're going to be able to get the net income growth for all the different companies that you want. And then you can apply any type of visualizations that you want. So in this case, we have the net income growth graph, and this shows you the percentages uh, for the different stocks that we're analyzing. Basically, the way that this works is that you select the ticker you select the parameter you're looking for in this case net income growth and then the period this could be a specific year or in this case we're using ly which takes the latest year so that way you're comparing the latest year for all the different stocks and the comparison is a lot more even and as you can see right away you're going to get the values right here so this way you can take this into account for any type of analysis that you do now you know the different ways in which you can count the net income growth as well as how to get this number automatically on your spreadsheet if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's going to allow you to take your investing game to the next level i'll see you in the next one